Hello to everyone in America. We launched Web of the Week back in May 2020 in the UK, and since then it's been an absolute roller coaster of a journey. Back in July, we decided that it was time to find out whether Web of the Week would be of interest in the US. And thanks to your amazing comments and fabulous feedback on the prototype that we launched, we have now decided that it is a massive yes. So that's why today it's with immense pleasure that I can now officially say that we're launching Web of the Week out there with you in America. Every Sunday, we'll be providing you with 10 uplifting, inspiring and interesting stories from the internet so that you can discover more of the wonders out there. Some of the tiles will be specific to American interests, but some tiles will also be taken from previous UK editions, but that we believe would be of interest to you too. Oh, and one more thing before we kick the show off with my weekly highlights. Your feedback is our key to success. We're working together here to make Web of the Week the uplifting place to go. So we want to hear everything and all of your thoughts, whether it's what you enjoyed or what you didn't enjoy so much or something that we can improve here at Web of the Week. We're really counting on you to tell us everything so that we can make Web of the Week the uplifting place to go. Welcome back to Web of the Week, where our aim is to put smiles on your faces by providing the most uplifting wows from the internet. My first highlight is here because it's topical, current, and no one could argue that it's not uplifting. It's David Blaine's crazy ascension stunt. Have you seen it? Well, I mean, if you've seen some of David Blaine's crazy stunts before, you'll know that he's an extreme guy in all senses. But this one, holding onto a bunch of helium balloons, aiming for the height of Everest leaving from Arizona, is just something else. I'll let you discover the highlights video with some mind-blowing images and some lovely moments with his daughter too. Je t'aime aussi, David. We couldn't leave it though without a touch of British humour, so here you go with an extra little gem here. Does he steal the show from David Blaine? Let us know in the comments. The second story I really enjoyed from this week's edition too is the Butchart Gardens from British Columbia. They are absolutely stunning and I really enjoyed watching this video because it was so relaxing and soothing seeing all of these wonderful colours and listening to that lovely music. I really would recommend sitting back to relax and watching this one, especially if you enjoy gardens. My third and final highlight is the Palio in the city of Siena in Italy. This fantastic video by the BBC taught me so much about the culture and the event itself and the race just looks crazy. I actually spend a lot of time with horses myself as my girlfriend is a horse rider but I must admit that the competitions she participates in aren't as crazy as this. Without wanting to give away too much I really like the aspect that the Contrada's horses are the luck of the draw, which really does make it such an exciting community event. So here you go, 10 uplifting tiles, three weekly highlights, and a very excited guide to be joining all of you in America. Don't forget, we're really counting on you and your comments and feedback so that we can continue to improve Web of the Week to make it the uplifting place to go on the internet. Thank you to you all and speak to you all very soon.